Yeah. OK. All right, buddy. Hey, here we go. Hey, hey! Here we go. All right. Here we go. OK. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming. Thanks for joining us. You know, years ago, you used to go to your convenience store, get yourself a loaf of bread, maybe a quart of milk from mommy, pick up a pack of Luckies for the old man. If you had something left over, you get yourself a Slim Jim for the walk home. Nowadays, it ain't so, though. You go in there, you say, hey, give me some melted cheese from my nachos, pop one of those prefab sloppy joes into the microwave, and give me five bucks for super unleaded on puff number four. It ain't the old days anymore, folks. Convenience stores, are they still convenient or are they nothing more than high-tech whorehouses? Next on the Chris Elliott Jr. Show. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we got a hot one here tonight. <laughs> Joining me at home base over here is the senior vice president of the Southland Corporation. These are the sweetie pies that own 7-Eleven. Say hello to David Letterman over Thank here. Thank you folks. very much. <laughs> I got to tell you, it doesn't sound like you're going to win any popularity contest here tonight, pal. All right, let's hear your side of it. You know, Chris, looking at you is kind of like looking at a map of the constellations. But, uh, okay, pal, whatever you want to say, go ahead. <laughs> I think if you're going to do this uh, running character uh, week after week, you should, you should get some real guests in here instead of pretending I'm somebody else. Well, let me tell you something, pal. The only thing I got to do is die and pay taxes and give the wife one of these. Ba-boom! Every now and then. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I'm sure she looks forward to that. <laughs> All right, well, here's the question. How come there aren't any women working at 7-Eleven? Well, huh? you know, Chris, I don't work at 7-Eleven, but I'm guessing there are plenty of women who work at 7-Eleven. Well, 7 you know, maybe it's one of those funny stores, huh? No, well, huh? I don't know. I don't ah, know. you checking me out? No, I'm not checking you out. Huh? Yeah? You like what you no, see? No, I don't like what I see. Huh? You break it, you bought it, honey. Okay. All purchases right. final. Chris, is there a gas leak in your neighborhood or something? <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, well, we got a lot of callers out there. Let's go to the phone. Oh, God. <laughs> Jeez. Let's go to the phones. You're on the Chris Elliott Jr. show. Hello. Yeah, is this Chris Elliott Jr.? Yes, it is, pal. Uh, yeah, I'm one of the pages here at NBC, and we're watching the show down here in the page lounge. Uh huh. Uh, can I say something? Sure, go ahead, pal. You suck! I hate you! Okay. Cut him off, cut him off. Boy, the wackos are out tonight, huh, folks? All right, let's get another call. You're on the air. Hello. Hello? Hey. Yeah, Chris, this is Hal. Yeah, Hal, where are you calling from? From the control room. <laughs> control room, what is that, a restaurant here in town? No, that's where we control things, the control room. What can I do for you, Hal? Yeah, you're out of time, buddy. All right, good point. Well, let me sum up. Convenience stores, here's my plan. One store per state. Government regulation for every store. No microwaves, no Pac-Mans, no big gulp slurping nacho <laughs> machines, just milk, butter, and eggs. And let the Pavlin puking lettermans go to the supermarkets just like the rest of us. Good night! <laughs> <laughs> you, Hotel accommodations for some guests of this program were furnished by the Omni Berkshire Place Hotel, Manhattan's green and civilized oasis in exchange for this announcement. For reservations, call 1-800-THE-OMNI.